This mod adds all three mobs with their mechanics from the Minecraft Live 2023 voting. Crabs are found in mangrove swamps, the crab's left claw comes in three different sizes, small, medium, and large. This claw grows over time, increasing in size at a random time between 5 and 10 minutes, asterisk. When a crab with a full-size claw waves, it has a 1 in 30 chance to drop the claw. The claws dropped by crabs only stay on the ground for a minute, so you'll have to be quick if you want to get your hands on one. They're able to climb up blocks, similarly to spiders. By the way, all three mobs in this mod boast exceptionally well-crafted animations, so I highly recommend this mod. Additionally, the claw can increase the distance for block placement, you can equip it in your offhand. Armadillos are small mammals known for their armored shells made of tough plates, can be found in savannah. The armadillos get scared easily, and will curl up into a ball when frightened. Curled up armadillos are solid like blocks, take massively reduced damage, and are immune to arrows. Additionally, armadillos can be tempted and bred using eggs, and when a baby armadillo grows up, it drops an armadillo skit. For armadillo scuts can be used to craft wolf armor, which can be equipped to a tamed wolf. Penguins are found on stony shores and swap between being on land and in the water. The penguins are able to move quickly out of the water and leap onto land, but are clumsy when on land and may trip and fall when hopping down blocks. Penguins can be bred using salmon or cod. After being bred, one of the penguins will go back to land and lay an egg. The penguin will then try to sit on the egg until it hatches, and penguin eggs will only hatch when penguins are sitting on them. If an egg is left unattended, a nearby penguin may claim it as its own. Finally, when using a boat near penguins, the penguins will swarm around the boat and speed it up. I must mention that I accidentally stumbled upon another version of this mod, while their animations have subtle differences, both are fantastic. However, I'm unsure if one of them is a pirated version. Therefore, I've included the download links for both in the description. If you are the legitimate owner of this mod, feel free to contact me, and I will promptly remove the link to the pirated version. Enderman Overhaul adds over 20 new Enderman variants, each with their own sounds, models, and animations. As well as Enderman, this mod also overhauls the Ender Pearl with 8 new variations. Soul Pearl dropped from the Souls in Valley Enderman and can be bound to mobs to teleport them remotely. Summoner Pearl dropped from the End Islands Enderman and teleports all nearby mobs to one point. 
corrupted pearl dropped from the end enderman and randomly teleports hit enemies. Bubble pearl dropped from the ocean enderman and floats through the air slowly without being affected by gravity. Warped pearl dropped from the warped enderman and affects the player with resistance when landing. Crimson pearl dropped from the crimson enderman and affects the player with strength. Icy pearl dropped from the ice spikes enderman and freezes nearby enemies. Ancient Pearl dropped from the End Island's Enderman and summons Pet Enderman which will fight for the player and can be recalled when right-clicked. The hoods are rare drops from Badlands, Snowy, and Savannah Enderman. They can be equipped to the chest slot and will give you 4 armor points, as well as allowing you to look at Enderman without provoking them. Enderman Tooth, dropped rarely by the End Enderman, can be used to craft Corrupted Blade and Corrupted Shield. The Corrupted Blade randomly teleports enemies on hit, and the Corrupted Shield damages and randomly teleports enemies when blocking attacks. Or Growth is a mod that allows crystal clusters to grow on ores, and clusters can then be harvested for resources. By default, crystals can grow on any of the vanilla ores as well as on ancient debris. Crystals with higher value require longer growth times, for example, diamond or crystals may take 30 minutes to an hour to fully mature. So, you don't need to worry about this mod disrupting the game's balance. Additionally, or growth is completely customizable and custom recipes can allow crystals to grow on a certain block. Adding new recipes or adjusting default recipes can be done through a data pack. The mod is also compatible with most popular mods such as Create, Pawa, Mechanism, and more. This is the standalone split-off version from Dungeons & Taverns Stronghold rework, the mod overhauls the stronghold from the ground up. It adds 417 rooms, unique stronghold generation, 5 sub-stronghold sections, another portal room chamber, unique trade stronghold librarians and on-the-surface breaking stronghold rooms. This mod is a testament to creativity, offering an unforgettable Minecraft experience that will redefine your journey through the game. Embark on an epic adventure unlike any other, and let the marvels of this mod transport you to a world of endless wonder. Pandas Falling Trees has added new support for bamboo and cactus in the latest update. This mod adds 7 stands from JoJo's Bizarre Adventure to Minecraft. Aura Barrage, rush your enemies with a barrage of punches. Starfinger, extend your finger to hit enemies from further away. Inhale, dragging enemies towards you. Bearing shot, shoot out a iron nugget at high speed. Flaming punch, every 10 seconds light your enemies ablaze with your punches. Crossfire hurricane, launch a large flaming ank towards your enemies. Special crossfire hurricane, split your ank into multiple flaming anks. Red Bind, bind your enemies in place, burning them as well. Life Detector, use the flames to detect nearby life forms. Double Cut, every 10 seconds, your sword will cut twice. Aura Rush, send out a barrage of jabs. Sword Launch, Launch the tip of your rapier at enemies. Armor off, remove your armor and gain a massive speed boost. Fire 
Emerald Splash, shoot out a barrage of emeralds. 20 meter emerald splash, set up a field of strings that trigger a multitude of emerald splashes when touched. Muda Barrage, send out a barrage of punches. Muda Kick Barrage, switch it up and send out a barrage of kicks instead. Knife Toss, throw multiple knives towards your target. Time Skip, quickly skip time and teleport forwards. The world, stop all time for 5 seconds. Road Roller, launch upwards and drop a Road Roller onto your enemies. Camera Divination, use a camera to search for a player, giving you their whereabouts. Left click Tangle, have a chance to tangle up enemies, keeping them in place. Right click Grapple, grapple onto objects, launching yourself towards them. Quicksand, trap a player within your quicksand. Sand Dome, erect a dome of sand to protect you. Sand Glider, make wings with sand to slow your fall. This is a decoration mod that seeks to add new holiday-themed objects to set your buildings. The mod brings a delightful array of decorative blocks to the world of Minecraft, capturing the eerie essence of Halloween and the festive spirit of Christmas. Within this enchanting realm of decorations, you'll discover an array of unique adornments, including various pumpkin lanterns to illuminate your world and infuse your structures with holiday charm, which is riding broomsticks, coffins and skeletons, and Santa Claus and Christmas trees, making your Minecraft world shine with holiday joy and warmth. Whether you're looking to spruce up your base for Halloween or infuse your world with a festive atmosphere during the holiday season, this mod offers an abundance of creative and decorative options. This mod adds difficult demonic monsters from the nether dimension, but without going too far from original game style and balance. Shorts are one of the weakest among Hellspawn who settled up in the overworld and is causing troubles to peasants, they can be found in overworld at night and in dark locations, upon death drops wheat and coal. Imps are fiery dweller of the nether known for cunning and guile, can be found anywhere in the nether. They are immune to fire and has medium knockback resistance, upon death they drop leather and gold nuggets. Imp guards are young imp with heavy armors assigned to guard their patron's treasure, they are completely immune to knockback and fire, upon death they drop iron nuggets and coal. Demon is a dangerous hellspawn that terrifies opponents with its mere appearance. The demon is completely immune to knockback and fire, and upon death drops magma blocks. Demon lord is the gargantuan infernal horror that has freed himself from his chains and now rules over the lesser demons. It can be rarely found anywhere in the nether, and immune to knockback, fire, wither. Upon death, it drops chains, iron ingots, and obsidian. Ancient Demon Lord, a dark lord of demons who concentrated pure evil within himself for hundreds of thousands years. He is the rare variant of Demon Lord, has extremely high health and damage, upon death drops chains, iron ingots, and diamonds. This mod adds a bit more life to creepers in multiple different horrific ways. The mod adds creeper plants with creeper seeds that are scattered around the world, these will also eventually grow into normal creepers, so you better want to break them. Creepers also now have a 10% chance on spawn to be able to overmutate. When a creeper has this ability they will mutate into two creeper blocks after about one Minecraft day with normal tick speed. Creeper blocks will spread and grow for a long time and will form a big nasty creeper blob with many heads and other offsprings growing out of it. If it has grown for long enough it will enter a prime state and will eventually explode into many new creeper seeds with many new creepers to grow out of them and so the cycle continues. This mod is a small mixture of the Middle Ages and the Viking Age. The mod adds many new decorative blocks, items and more with unique functions. Explore a rich tapestry of decorative blocks, including cozy campfires, an abundance of vintage kitchen decorations, charming water wells, and rustic carts that breathe life into your medieval landscapes. 
not to mention the new roof options that add the perfect finishing touch to your structures. These additions aren't just for show, each element comes with unique functionality, allowing you to enhance your Minecraft experience in countless ways. Decorate and build with blocks and items that transport you to a bygone era, turning your creations into a homage to the rich history of the Middle Ages and the Viking Age. This mod aims to add a config to almost everything in the game, it utilizes data pack codecs in config serialization to make advanced configs, which in turn allow for a lot of things. For example, you can easily configure biome modification, biome placement, data fixers, splash texts, default entity attributes, fluid speeds, screen shaking, surface rules, daylight cycle speed, and more. Additionally, the mod also has data pack support, in two different manners, both of which can be disabled. This mod is the standalone split version of the Pillager Outpost overhaul from Dungeons & Taverns, the mod overhauls the Pillager Outpost by adding two new plate types, for new tower types and a few more loot chest types and decoration structure parts. Interactic adds more ways to interact with dropped items, hence the name. Items will spin while they fall, at a changing speed depending on how fast they're falling. When on the ground, they'll lay in flat and compact stacks. You can pick up items by right-clicking them, even from a few blocks away. When looking at one, you'll see its tooltip rendered below your crosshair. Additionally, you can throw items by holding down the drop key for a period of time. Items which have a damage modifier on them like sword and axes will also deal damage when they hit something after being thrown this way. The item filter is an item that allows you to finally control which items you want to automatically pick up. You can configure it to use either a white or black list and any items affected by that list will require you to explicitly pick them up using either a right click or by sneaking. You can also globally disable auto pickup in the config to force everyone to explicitly pick up all items. This mod combines two incompatible mods, Cave Dweller Evolved and Enhanced Cave Noise, making the Cave Dweller even more terrifying than the original. The head of the Cave Dweller now features an improved model, and the eerie atmosphere within caves has been enhanced. This mod adds a drying rack that allows you to hang items. Additionally, if you let rotten flesh dry for long enough, it will turn into leather. This splinter standalone version of Dungeons & Tabard adds the Swamp Hut rework, adding two variants, a loot chest, a brewing stand and a bed. Real Arrow Tip is a mod that makes bows display the correct arrow. It works on crossbow as well. Additionally, the arrow entity displays colored tip when it's a tipped arrow. Beam is a simple client-sided mod that marks beam nests with a light beam in order to help players in finding them. 